Just off the ground, Gunston tried to half volley. Rioli brilliantly done. Sets up another soccer goal. Oh, that's not messy. That's soon. Rioli does really well. Keeps it in play. Gets it back. Tucked in the pocket. Banana. Oh. Inside. How do you like that? Sensational play from Rioli. A suburban football club that became a place for change. An 18-year-old boy with a beaming smile who left the Tiwi Islands 45 years ago to follow a dream, oblivious to what he was starting. He started a line, a lineage of Riolis that mm. came through generation after generation that were all uh, not only great footballers, fantastic people. Brian Sikatosto, or Sicko, Stephen and Michael. Stephen Michael are two more of the fantastic people in this story, childhood heroes of mine. One, a son of Italian immigrants. The other, a Noongar man from WA Southwest. South Fremantle Football Club legends. The people at that club and the boys itself, or its players, they looked after one another. Sebastian's prodigiously talented brother Morris joined him at the Bulldogs. Then came Benny Vagona and Basil Campbell. Melville Island was a production line of South Frio stars. Darling of the crowd, Basil Campbell. People flock to the football to watch them play. The Rioli line continued through Dean, Cyril, Will, and now Daniel at Richmond. It's a Rioli name, it's just unbelievable. I don't think you ever see that again in, in, in a culture of, of uh, footballers. But tragedy struck the family with the deaths of both Morris and Sebastian within two years of each other. To everyone else, he is Mr. Magic, but to my brother, sister and cousins, he is our pop. Love you, love you, pop. Brian and Stephen were at the Darwin funerals of their Bulldogs brothers, but they've never made it to the Tiwis until now. We came to the funerals of Morris and Sibby Betty, but uh, unable to uh, visit the island with races. It's like a little uh, nostalgic trip back to pay our respects. Yeah. Chronic injuries eventually saw Basil Campbell return to Melville Island. The meeting point for any catch up is the home of the remarkable Helena oh, Rioli. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you'll have great grandchildren, right? Yes, I have, yes. A mum who farewelled a son all that time ago. I was hoping he'd do well, you know, find happiness down there. And he did. And he did, yeah. yeah. And he really did pave the way, didn't he, for yes, so many more Yes, yes, for all his brothers. Yeah. It's very humble that the family got around the grandmother. The respect that they have for their grandmother. And every young girl or young boy that walked into that yard today, beeline, beeline straight, for her, straight for her to give her a hug and a kiss and say hello to Nana. And, and, uh, and it's really no different to the Italian heritage and, and other things. You know, the, the grandmother holds a special place. Mm. Scoreboard flank, Rioli the flyer. Now, there weren't laws in the game, there weren't laws in, in leagues and states around the country for how to deal with racism and blokes of other colour and he went down there and did what he thought was right and he set the right example for them to follow and we still are today. Yeah. Just a few hundred metres from Helena's home are the graves of her eldest boys. Sibby Sebastian Gerard Rioli. 17th of January 1954 to the 3rd of May 2012. And I tend to uh, walk away and gather my thoughts and take a bit deep breath and I come back. Because mm. if I talk too much about Sibia, I tend to get a little bit emotional. Mm. But, you know, that's, that's the sort of impact he had. South Fremantle was like a, a family club for us, uh, especially the uncles going through there. Always heard about Sicko, they always talk about him, so it was actually nice to finally put a face to the name. Isn't that lovely? Treat everybody the same. That's right, yeah. Black, white, mm. Greek, anything. We do. Whatever. In the cabinets and old photos at Darwin St Mary's Footy Club, an essential piece of this story, the Saints broke the white mould in Territory football in the early 50s. For the first time, Aboriginal players could truly showcase their stuff. The Tiwi Talent House has racked up the premierships ever since. And today we see guys like Buddy Franklin and Cyril Rioli Jr. and all these guys doing those magical things that we white people can only think about. That's right. I might have been an exception though. <laughs> <laughs> You're a humble man, Brian. <laughs> but this man has Morris Rioli emerges a beautiful long kick. Like I never got to see 
obviously see them play, but you see it obviously highlights and it gives you goosebumps that they actually went down there and snuck it out. And Once you see people come from nowhere to achieve greatness, there's an opportunity for everyone. And anywhere in Australia, if you want something badly enough and you work hard enough, you can achieve it. And that's the great part about this country anyway.